I'm always on the lookout for new Game Boy games to uh, pick up and add to my collection, things that I would have missed out on when I was a kid. One game I came across recently, it was Barai Fighter Deluxe. Now, Barai Fighter Deluxe is a side-scroller shoot-em-up. Uh, it's an action game, and every time I try it out, like, I can't put it down. So, yeah, I figured this would be a good game to add to my collection. Well, before I buy it, I decided to look up a rev some reviews to see, uh, make sure the whole game is worth, uh, is worth getting, and it's not just, like, a fun first level and then kind of tanks after that. So I stumbled upon the review on YouTube by Goldfish on Games, and uh, he says it's a great game. And near the end of the review, he points out that there's actually a Game Boy Color re-release of Barai Fighter Deluxe, but it was renamed in the United States to Space Marauder. And I think, oh, that's cool. I mean, uh, it's a nicer version of the game, but I really like the Game Boy version, so I'm going to stick with that one for the original Game Boy. Uh, but in the review, he goes on to say something that really makes me curious. He says in regards to the Game Boy Color version of the game, quote, What you can feel from the very beginning is that this is a much faster version of the game. And I think, huh, that's odd. Anyway, back to shopping for the game. Depending on the game I'm getting, sometimes I'll get the Japanese version of the game, sometimes I'll get the American version of the game. Depending on the, uh, the features, or the things that are in the game, the, the slight differences. So I'm trying to decide which version of the game to get. And as I'm trying them back to back, I notice, is the Japanese version a little bit faster? So I decided to do a little test. I load them both up on my computer, and uh, I record moving the character from the very top of the screen to the very bottom of the screen. And then I take the recording and I count the number of frames. For the U.S. release of the original Game Boy version, it takes 80 frames to get across the screen. In the Game Boy Color re-release, that, you know, it's faster, uh, just as expected, it takes fewer frames, because he's moving faster. It only takes 55 frames. I then check the Japanese release of the original game. It also takes only 55 frames to get from the top and the to the bottom of the screen. The Game Boy Color re-release is the original speed of the original Japanese release. But for whatever reason, the developers or the publishers decided to slow down the American release. Ultimately, I decided to go with the Japan release because it's basically the same game, but with the speed difference. And it is an action game, so I do appreciate the extra speed. And it does make a difference with being able to collect some of the power-ups in time. The American release of Bri Fighter Deluxe for Game Boy was slowed down compared to the original Japanese release.